guys and welcome to my youtube channel siva tube so today i'll show you how to create a small web crawler application in java so first we will know why we need web crawler and what a web crawler is so a web crawler is nothing but a web that is a program means computer program that is used to gather the information from the internet means on the websites from the websites we are we are crawling the websites and getting the information and we will store that information in our local db or whatever the server and then we will process that data so web, web crawler So here there are so many why we need web crawler, what is web crawler, how does it works. So this is nothing but web crawlers are computer programs that can scan web, reading everything they find. It means basically I will show you my blog, this is my blog. So suppose I want to create a web crawler for this blog. So what our web crawler will do, it will scan every data here and as per our need as per our requirement we will fetch those data from there means from here so let's begin i'll show you how to read all these articles from my blog to java so just open an id i've already opened now we will create one project will create one a spring boot starter project so here already the name is available or you can change it to any means as per your I am writing the web crawler there is no dependency needed just only one dependency that is Joseph so it is taking time yeah it's done now what I need is what we need is we need one dependency of JSOP this is a HTML parser means this is a library given by JSOP organization to read all the data from the website so here jsop is a java library for working with real world html it provides a very convenient api for extracting and manipulating data using the best of dom css and jquery like methods so we can use jquery methods to fetch the data from our websites so jsop implements the what wg HTML5 specifications and passes HTML to the same DOM as modern browsers do. So basically, this there are so many methods in this library we can use in our Java to fetch those details from the website. So I have copied that one. I'll paste here. Just a bit. I have not copied. Just I'll paste that library here. It will download all the related jar files will be downloaded here. Now we are going to create web crawler. So here I'll create one my web C R A W L E R. So here I'll create one main method to pass the URL. So in that main method what I need to do is I'll just create new my web my web crawler dot get articles and in this article I will pass my URL my website URL. So here is my website URL. I'll just copy paste. 
just done now I'll create this method and here in this method what I need to do is first first point is fetch the HTML code code so first we need to fetch the HTML code so for that for that this JSOP library has given one JSOP dot connect and this URL what we, we have passed here this should be URL so here and dot get so what here we are doing is JSOP dot connect with this URL and get all the details as a document that is also again a class uh, we will surround this as track edge that is again a class this get document that is again a class which is provided by this JSOP library so just see and the document documents is equal to just control shift o and we will give this as import now second what we need to do is we will get all the elements means what we need to fetch is so first I will run and I'll show you what I'm doing is so here just I'll keep the debug point here now we will run so here our debugger point came so this URL came from there so we will connect this URL means we will connect this this website and we will get all the details related to document it will get in document so now we will just go to next line if you don't know how to go in next line while debugging just function f6 yeah so here we we got all the documents means all the details in documents after connection with this URL we are getting all the details in this document now I will print all these documents whatever the data in this I'll just print now control means function f6 it will print just I'll copy and I'll go to some editor control n here I'll paste so here all the data related to that website it came here now what we need to do is just go this website here one article is there second article is there third fourth like this fifth six so these are the articles here seven article is there so wh what we need to do is just we will search here where our data exists and we will get from there so just yeah so just take this example this is the URL so journey with business people one so journey with business people one is the first article journey with business people one is the first article so now what I will do is we need this article this article so this is the first article so like this we need all the articles by tag by using this tag because this article is in one tag like this this is a tag this article and this is a closing tag open tag and close so we need all first second third fourth like this all so if we will fetch from this article tag this article tag then we will get all the details in list so what we will do is that jessup has given jessup has given us 
second thing we need to do is get all the particles in elements so really so here elements E-L-E-M-E-N-T-S elements so here elements Joseph has given elements elements is equal to now what from this document we need to get all the elements by article means tag so docun documents dot get elements by tag yeah get elements by tag so what we will do is just I'll copy this tag this should be as a string so I'll just copy this one and we'll pass as a string now so this is done now what I'll clear here so here we will get all the elements so next printed all the documents now we will fetch the article means all the articles means from this tag article tag so from this document we fetch all the elements means all the articles so here you can see one two three like seven articles are there in first page so now we will print all these so here we have printed all these articles if you want to iterate this one then simply we can iterate like this one also So this is the iteration data. So this is the basic means how to connect with JShop, how to connect a website with JShop and get the documents and from that document how to get the particular means particular data by article means tag. So here I have used only get elements by tag and the tag I have used is article tag so here you can see this this all these details we have got here I'll show you yeah this one this is the first so here the first article is this one the second article is this one like this we have got all the dot all the articles whatever in the first page so now what we need to do is here we have crawled all these articles so in later video I will show you how to connect with this URL and we will get like this one this article you can fetch all this data so in later videos in coming videos I will show you how to get there are so lots of methods you can see here get all elements get element by ID get elements by attribute attribute a starting value there are so many lots of methods you can practice by your own so here just for one demo video I have shown you how to get the articles how to get the data by tag how to get the elements by tag so this article tag I have used to get so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then please share this video comment if you need any more extra 
then you can comment in our video and please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed thanks for watching this video